Helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles and planes. Turkey showcases its domestically produced air defense technologies for the fourth time in Istanbul. 200,000 students competed in 35 different fields to take part in the six-day festival. Spirits are high among young participants like Burak. His team won a first prize with a drone designed to extinguish fire. With the pandemic and hundreds of wildfires in Turkey's Mediterranean region this summer, devastating much of the country's tourism industry, their invention has been given more significance. Our drone is capable of operating 100 meters above fires on facades and roofs. Our motivation has been the national technology move. We're aware of the mission and vision our state has chosen. Other winners are being chosen, but those who make it are seen as assets for the country's defense industry that's out to sell its products and services at home and abroad. More than 50 percent of Turkey's armed forces are supplied by domestic companies. The government aims to eliminate all foreign suppliers and make that 100 percent by 2023, the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Turkish Republic. When we look at Technofest Youth, we see the architects of Great Turkey, engineers, scientists, entrepreneurs who will make their marks tomorrow. Bayraktar drones are named after the family members behind them. They're known for their effectiveness in helping Azerbaijan achieve victory over Armenia in their conflict over the disputed territories of Nagorno-Karabakh in 2020. Bayraktar TB2 drones are now used by Turkey, Ukraine, Qatar and Azerbaijan. The engineer of the aircraft and chairperson of the Turkish Technology Team Foundation organizing this festival says they're part of Turkey's future. We will never give up on our goal for a fully independent country, promoting technology and making Turkey a country that leads in every field. Turkey faces conflicts and tensions on its borders and as a NATO member, it is sometimes at odds with its allies in countering what it regards as threats. So Turkish officials and the military are keen to develop a defense industry that is independent. And this festival is designed to encourage the country's youth to take part and contribute new ideas. Sinem Kosolo, Al Jazeera, Istanbul.